What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Houston RV show and uh, one quick heads up I'm gonna do some shorter videos out here It's a little bit more difficult to get around some of these to actually show you all the intricacies and everything going on in the outside But I'm gonna try to not lack on Overview information related to the inside of them as well as some of the weights and numbers that I typically talk to you about So I sure hope you enjoy the uh, the next several videos that were filmed here at the Houston RV show What's going on guys? So I am out here at the Houston RV show and I am actually going to show you guys something pretty special. This is a really cool floor plan from the folks over at Alliance. It is a compact fifth wheel, relatively lightweight and it's low profile and there's really a lot to like about this. Okay, we're going to start by looking at the numbers on this unit. It's going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,995 pounds. Unloaded, it's going to weigh 8,486 pounds. And it's going to have 1,499 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Plus, it's going to ride on twin 5,100-pound axles. So the axle capacity actually exceeds the gross vehicle weight rating, which is a good thing. Let's take a look at the inside of this unit. So as we're walking around, you'll see it has the Kurt Rotaflex pin box up front. It has the ground control four-point auto leveling system. Spot for propane. It's a good size basement storage. This does not have a drop frame, but it does ride on a eight inch I-beam frame. Outside of your furnace, outside of your water heater. Goodyear endurance tires, plus the Cree 3000 suspension system. MSRP on this unit, 73,045, 15,000 off, 57,999 is the sale price. And this is the 28BH. I've never filmed this unit before. So check this out. If you were looking for a very, very cool, compact bunkhouse floor plan, this might be the one for you. Love the color tones in here. It is so bright, so airy. Very much like the tones a lot of people might want to repaint their RV to get that lighter feel to it. Got a Jensen TV on the wall here. Furion soundbar. Magnetically latching drawers. Nice three burner. I think this is a gray stone. Yep. Oven stove combination with the stainless steel drawer underneath it. Single basin stainless steel sink. Nice upgraded faucet. Full size residential microwave. Nice cabinetry all the way around. It's not soft closing, so keep that in mind. I love this really cool chopboard they put here at the end. A lot of countertop space, good amount of cabinets, and some nice drawers. Over here you have really nice pantry space. You have your 12 volt Furion refrigerator. Stepping up the stairs, no carpet in this unit. That is that resin poured little handrail, which is really nice. Checking out the bathroom, thermofoil with an undermount stainless steel sink. Nice medicine cabinet as well. A lot of storage in here for toiletries, towels and such. Has a good size shower stall. It's not huge, but it's not small. You could probably be upwards of about six foot three and comfortably fit in here. Has a porcelain foot flush toilet. Come around this way. Has a queen size bed, spot on the wall for a TV, as well as your power for it. Nice window on this side, also a nice window on that side. Cabinetry all around, cabinetry below, and you're going to have storage under the bed. Plus, you're going to have all this wardrobe storage down here. It all uses magnets to hold them shut, so it takes a little bit of effort. Very cool. Let's go take a look at that bunkhouse real quick. So you got a big sofa that folds out into a bed, or at least a love seat that folds out into a bed. Booth style dinette, cool little awning in there. Does this flip up? It does flip up. So you got more storage under here as well. This is so cool. So you have this huge closet back here. Inside is the ladder to get you up to here. But you have two bunks that are right in this back space. And I really like the layout of this because it kind of brings the whole family together. You have a huge access door here on the side if you want to use this to load other stuff like mountain bikes, things like that, your luggage, whatever. Um, and you can even load it underneath that 
little bunk area. But I absolutely love the overall look of this. Really, really nice. They've done such a great job with this design. Blackout blinds, again, that huge atrium window. Very cool. What do you guys think of this unit? Please leave a comment below. Again, I am trying to focus on making some shorter videos of RVs out here. Um, I don't have really the space to get between them, if you can kind of see what I'm talking about, to do a full outside view. But what do you think of a unit like this? Please comment below. I'd love to know what your opinion is on this unit. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.